Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a highly, highly requested hair curling tutorial. In um, a bunch of my uh, past videos, I have my hair in just like big, loose, wavy curls. And I always get a ton of requests about how I get that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how. So um, I actually, okay, my hair is pretty straight right now because this is my, is my hair. Like I straightened my hair yesterday and it's still pretty straight. So um, I just spritz some water on it and then let it dry. And then I put on my Chi Iron Guard. So make sure you use some sort of heat protectant. And then you just want to um, brush it out. Because you don't want it tangled. Okay. So then what you're going to do is, I usually part it like right near my eyebrows. It doesn't have to be an exact part. And then just twirl it and then take a clip and clip it up out of the way. Okay? So, now what we're going to do is curl each section. And now this is a one and a quarter inch barrel. So, it's really pretty simple. I just take a hair, a piece of hair about this wide, which is probably like an, maybe an inch wide, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then I start here and then curl. Go down and then curl. Down and then curl all the way to the top. Okay, so I kind of explained that not very well, so I'm going to show you a few more times. And now just leave it for a little bit and then let it fall. So then you get a nice bouncy curl like that. And obviously they're going to fall. So, okay. So you clamp, um, not at the root, but probably a few inches away. You clamp there, slide it down, and curl. Open the barrel, slide it down, and then curl. Open the barrel, slide it down. And then you just keep doing that until you reach the end. Um... It's better for your hair to do it that way because it doesn't keep the end in it for as long and it just um, evenly distributes the heat better so you end up getting um, a better curl. So, I mean, I'm not a professional, but this is what I do. Um, you can curl them opposite directions, but I just don't that's not what I do so um, I'm not going to show you that obviously but and then I'll just show you one more time and then go all the way up and you basically want to keep twisting it until you can't anymore but make sure you don't like burn your ear or anything like that So um, I'm going to just keep doing this and then when I get to the top layer I'll show you guys what I do for that. So I did um, all the rest of my hair except for the top. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, I curl it basically the same way except for like my bangs I guess you could call them. They're not really long enough to be bangs. but This part is just the same. If I style, uh, if I part my hair on the side, then I just style this side regular since I don't have any like bangs on that side. If you know what I mean.
So, I lift them up, and I put my curling iron right here, and then after a few seconds, I just start to turn it, and then I just go through it, okay? And then I pick up, like, the back layer of the bang and do that, the same thing. And then just do the front layer by itself. Just to give me some lift there. And then I just take the ends and I curl them away from my face. Just like this, like at an angle. Like you can see that this is like tilted. Okay. So then it's just like a nice little flip out curl thing. And obviously, if you had your hair parted, like, down the middle or something, you would just do the same thing. But since I don't, I'm just recurling this side. Okay. So now that you are all curled, you kind of just want to run your fingers through it. Just to break it up, give it a little bit of bounce, and um, that's pretty much it. In my videos, it probably looks a little less curly just because they've fallen throughout the day or whatever if I wore them the night before like this. That I sometimes do is I'll just take this section right here at the top and um, make sure it looks like that and then I just kind of lightly tease it and then just with my fingers just kind of smooth it out just so it gives a little more body and then I do the same thing I get my bangs out because I don't like to do that part together I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. Okay, and then just work it with your finger. Leave my bangs alone. And then just take the crown section of the hair. And then just do the same thing. And then just take your fingers and just smooth it out, play with it, whatever. And that's pretty much all that I do. I don't use hairspray on my hair unless I'm going to like a really fancy occasion or something. And then I still probably don't even do it. Um, I don't like to use hairspray. I don't like the way it makes my hair feel. I don't like that my curls don't really fall throughout the day if I use hairspray. But um, just to add some shine, this is the Garnier Fructis Brilliantine Shine Glossing Spray. So I just spray a... Spritz like that. I just kind of had to get my head into it. And then just one at the ends. And then just kind of. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and yeah. That's the final result. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll try to help you out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.